I enjoy making people happy. And so for me, I think I'll probably end up doing some catering or maybe events. Deciding on this, this field is great for me because there is so many different opportunities. I've got um, an opportunity to work in a food truck over the summer. So I'd like to do that one to three times to kind of get a feel for it. And then I also um, keep my fingers crossed, maybe get to work for this lady, Julia Conway, who's a caterer on the coast. This summer I'm gonna be working with one of my teachers who got a new job at a local winery here. And she asked us if there was anyone that would be interested in that. And I think that that's really cool. The program is a 24 unit certificate program. 18 required, six are electives. Um, the focus is on the professional cook, caterer, chef, food truck operator, what have you, but classes are open to anybody, whether that's a lifelong learner from the community who wants to improve their cooking skills or somebody who's already a great cook but uh, intimidated by baking perhaps. Um, or a transfer student. We were taught everything from knife skills to numerous new recipes, uh, cultural recipes, menu creation, mathematical abilities to be able to um, expand recipes or start your own business and know how to do profits and loss. Everything was covered really. And I feel like leaving here that I was ready to go out into the world. What we do is really hands-on. Um, there's, there's not a lot of lecture, there's not a lot of um, testing, there's not a lot of inaction. You're doing something the entire time. It's not like you're in a lecture hall where you're sitting there listening to someone drone on the entire time. You're sitting there and you get to, you're cutting up vegetables, you're placing things in the dining room, you're making something that someone's gonna eat. Do you want me to roll? That'd be fine, yeah. Okay. But I made dolmas, yeah. and so, you know, I took uh, the, the cabbage and we, we put this like a, it was almost like a sweet rice mixture into it and rolled it up. And I haven't get to try one of those, but they look pretty good too. And then Chef drizzled some olive oil over the top, so that looked pretty good. Chef is great. I mean, he, he's enjoyable. I mean, his sense of humor is, is awesome, so which is great, you know, so he, you know, uh, stuff is not so serious all the time. It's just like so. Put it over the back of your hand. On your knuckles. Our age range is quite diverse. Within, you know, one class, I've had uh, an age range of 14 to 63. Probably the most memorable thing about this class is the people that I've been taking it with. Because there's a couple of people that just we go through the entire program with each other and we become family, really. All the classes are fun because of the people that you're with. You know, it's, it's, and working in a kitchen, it builds a camaraderie. We're gonna put the time on there, get these in the oven, and then okay. we're good to go. The facilities here are amazing. They have um, two kitchens, um, a cafeteria kitchen, which we serve lunch out of, and then the um, cooking kitchen where there's baking, pastries and dessert, skills one is done in the first kitchen and it's it's really well equipped. They have every kind of equipment you could imagine. When you start out you don't have to bring your own knives. There are knives here but it is recommended to get your own set of knives. That's about the only equipment we really needed. The coats are provided here in class. The aprons are provided here in class. But it is nice to have your own set of knives that are sharpened and ready for use. Lamb, shank, we're going to be served with polenta. So polenta on the bottom of the plate, a nice scoop of meat sauce and veggies on the top of that. Every week we come in on Wednesday and we prepare meals for Thursday lunch, which we serve to staff and students. So today we got chicken fricassee, we've got chicken tagine, which is a Moroccan preparation with olives, preserved lemon, ginger, garlic, cumin, obviously chicken. Um, we've got some braised lamb shank. We also will be serving lasagna, some uh, spinach and feta uh, hand pies, tres leches with strawberry compote, chocolate bavois. We got a lot of fun stuff today. Thank you so much. Of course. 
Um, I teach many of the classes, but we do also have a dedicated uh, chocolate and confections instructor, Shelley Fields, who uh, is the owner of a company called Wicked Bon Bon. Um, we also have Julia Sidorakis, who owns the Ukiah Garden Cafe here, uh, downtown Ukiah. Um, she teaches dining room service and kind of some of the management aspects. Um, we have had a couple of different uh, instructors teaching uh, skills. One, most recently, Christine Di Pasquale, who also teaches food and wine pairing for us, uh, both here and at the Lake County Center. Um, so, you know, the program is growing, we're adding faculty, adding classes. Part of most reputable cooking programs uh, would be some type of uh, an internship. I chose to work at Crush and the experience was phenomenal. I got to be trained on every station, work every line, be given the creativity to give some specials as well, and within three months have got a promotion to become head chef and director of their catering division, all thanks to what this program has given to me, the confidence, the skills, and the ability. And then put the vegetables in. Correct. I really like the chocolate and confection class. That was a lot of fun. You know, the chef always likes to cook things that are not your everyday type of recipes that you find here locally, so it's always really interesting. Down the line, I will, I will love to have my own restaurant, love to have my own farm, and so it's, it's kind of like farm to table sort of thing. Everyone eats. You can find a job, you can make money, you can make a living anywhere in the world if you know how to cook. It's really exciting for me to see students do well. I've had students who have opened their own restaurants, who have opened their own catering businesses, um, people who weren't sure what they wanted to do or if this was what they wanted to do, um, gaining skills, gaining confidence, um, and it's, it's just really great to see those people grow both professionally and personally. It doesn't matter how old you are, because I'm 35 right now, and it took me a long time just to figure out what I really wanted to do and stuff, and you're never too old to go chase that dream.